Exercise 1 says we should express the following numbers in standard form. 70,000 can be expressed as 7 times 10 raised to the power of the numbers of digits after 7, which is what? 4. So this is said to be 7 times 10 raised to the power of 4. 50 can be expressed as 5 times 10 raised to the power of 1. While 3, we have 4 million. 4 million can be expressed as 4 times 10 raised to the power of 6 because we have 6 digits after 4. 4 million 900,000 can be expressed as 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of 6. And 5 billion can be expressed as 5 times 10 raised to the power of 9. 6 is 675 million. 675 million in standard form is said to be 6.75 times 10 raised to the power of 3, 6, 8. Number 7, 60 can be expressed as 6 times 10 raised to the power of 1, while 1 can be expressed as 10 to the power 0. All these in standard form. 49 can be expressed as 4.9 times 10 raised to the power of 1. And we have number 10. This can be expressed as 4.25 times 10 raised to the power of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Times 10 raised to the power of 15. Expressing numbers in standard form is said to be any number expressed in the form a times 10 raised to the power of n, where a is a number that falls between 1 and 10, and n is any positive or negative whole numbers. Don't forget that. So always ensure that the value of A falls between 1 and 10. It may be a fraction. It may be a whole number. Question 11, we have 380. 380 is said to be 3.8 times 10 raised to the power of 2. And number 12, this can be said to be 7.2 times 10 raised to the power of 6. Number 13, we have 165.9. 165.9 can be expressed as 1.659 times 10 raised to the power of the number of times the decimal point is moved is said to be 2. So this is times 10 raised to the power of 2. If you observe question 13 and question 12, while writing question 13, I had to include all the digits. But in question 12, I had to omit all the zeros. So when you are dealing with standard forms, you have to take note of all the significant figures. And we say all numbers are significant except zero. Zero can only be significant if it falls in between two significant figures. Example 14, 9.34. 9.34 can be expressed as 9.34 times 10 raised to the power of zero because 9.34 is said to be a number that falls between 1 and 10. So you moving the decimal point to your left a number of times makes it less than 1. And that violates one of the laws of standard form. Question 15, 4.18 can be expressed as 4.18 times 10 raised to the power of 0. Same reasons as that which I gave you in number 14. 16, this is 300,000. 300,000 can be expressed as 3 times 10 raised to the power of 5. 17 can be expressed as 6.735 times 10 raised to the power of 1. In number 18, this can be said to be 5.78 times 10 raised to the power of 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. And for number 19, this is said to be 9.3543 times 10 raised to the power of 3. And for number 20, this is said to be 9.0303 times 10 to the power 
of 5. If you observe, these zeros are said to be significant because they fall between two significant figures. And the last zero is, is not necessary. So that is why I didn't include it. Exercise 3 says, how many seconds are there in 96 hours? Express your answer in standard form. What you have to do is to first of all convert 96 hours into seconds. From there, you can then express such numbers in standard form. For we know that 60 seconds makes one minute and 60 minutes make one hour. So we can use that conversion in converting from hours to minutes and from minutes to seconds. That is to say, if one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes and one minute gives us 60 seconds, it therefore means that one hour is equivalent to 60 times 60, which is 3,600 seconds. So if one hour is equivalent to 3,600 seconds, it therefore means that 96 hours will be equivalent to 96 times 3,600 seconds. So how do we get that you now multiply 3600 times 96. This is 0, 0, 36. You write down 6 and carry 3. This is 18, 19, 20, 21. And this is 0, 0. This is 54. You write down 4 and carry 5. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus 5 is 32. So this is equal to 0, 0, 6, 5, 4, 3. That is 345,600. So converting 300 and expressing 345,600 in standard form is said to be equal to 3.456 times 10 raised to the power of 5. That brings us to the end of today's class. In today's class, we have been able to learn how to convert whole numbers in standard form. In our next class, we shall be looking at how to express decimal numbers in standard form. Kindly like our videos as you watch. While I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. Kindly share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit in our classes. Thank you and do have a nice day.